The summary of Just Listen, brought to you by Click Through College. The essence of listening. The primary message of Just Listen is the power and importance of listening in fostering meaningful relationships. The essence of listening, as Mark Golston emphasizes, is not just staying silent while another person speaks. It's genuinely understanding and empathizing with the speaker. It's an active process that demands your complete attention and sincere intention. Truly understanding what the other person is trying to communicate builds trust and openness, paving the way for effective dialogue. Through deep listening, you are not just hearing words, but also recognizing emotions, perspectives, and underlying issues, helping the speaker to navigate their way towards resolution and growth. Mirror neurons. Delving into the science of effective communication, Golston introduces the concept of mirror neurons. These are brain cells that fire both when an action is performed and when it is observed. This ability to mirror emotions and actions that we see in others is foundational to empathy and understanding. When we listen effectively, we harness the power of mirror neurons to reflect back the feelings and perspectives of the speaker, promoting a deeper, more authentic connection. This neural mirroring creates shared understanding and experiences, which forms the cornerstone of successful communication. The persuasion cycle. The persuasion cycle is a conceptual tool for understanding how people shift from resistance to cooperation. The cycle starts with a person in a resistant state, firmly against change or rejecting your ideas. Through understanding, empathy, and effective communication, you can lead them to the next stage, where they become ready to listen. Then, by presenting your ideas thoughtfully and respectfully, they move to the considering stage. Eventually, with the right encouragement and motivation, they reach a state of willingness where they are prepared to take action in line with your ideas. This cycle highlights the power of understanding, empathy, and patience in bringing about change and cooperation. First, do no harm. In interpersonal relationships, especially when trying to persuade someone, Golston advocates for the Hippocratic principle of, first, do no harm. This means to be mindful of the potential impacts of your actions and words, ensuring they do not instigate hostility or damage trust. It's crucial to refrain from aggressive, accusive or negative behaviors that could hurt the other person or make them defensive. Strive instead to create a safe and supportive atmosphere for dialogue. The key lies in communication that respects and validates the other person's thoughts and feelings thus paving the way for constructive conversations. Be more interested than interesting. To effectively get through to anyone, Golston recommends being more interested than interesting. This principle encourages active curiosity about the other person's experiences, ideas, and feelings. Genuine interest signifies that you value the person, encouraging them to be more open and honest. Instead of preparing your response or trying to impress with your ideas, Focus on understanding what the speaker is communicating. Ask insightful questions, show empathy, and validate their feelings. By being interested, you not only learn more about the other person but also strengthen the bond of trust and respect between you. Emotional intelligence. Golston underscores the importance of emotional intelligence, EQ, in successful communication. EQ is the ability to recognize, understand, and manage our own emotions and those of others. It includes skills like empathy, self-awareness, self-regulation, motivation, and social skills. High EQ enables you to communicate better, manage stress effectively, empathize with others, overcome challenges, and diffuse conflict. It allows you to handle your emotions in a way that enhances your relationships rather than harming them. With high EQ, you're better equipped to listen effectively, understand others, and ultimately influence their actions and decisions in a positive way. Practice empathy. Empathy is one of the most critical skills in effective communication. It involves understanding and sharing the feelings of another person, placing yourself in their shoes. When you empathize, you validate their feelings without necessarily condoning or agreeing with them. This emotional validation is often more important to the speaker than the advice or solutions you might offer. It shows that you see and accept their feelings, leading to a sense of emotional relief. It's not about solving their problems but providing a supportive and understanding space for them to express themselves. Golston emphasizes that empathy is an essential tool for emotional healing and getting through to anyone. The impossibility question. 
One of the key strategies Golston suggests to uplift someone stuck or overwhelmed by negative thoughts is asking the impossibility question. This question is, what would you do if you knew it was impossible to fail? This question is designed to bypass the negativity and open up a realm of positive possibilities. It prompts the individual to think beyond the constraints of fear or doubt and explore what they truly want. By envisioning a situation where success is guaranteed, they can often identify aspirations or solutions that they wouldn't otherwise consider, creating a more optimistic and forward-thinking mindset. The power thank you. The act of expressing genuine gratitude holds immense power in communication. Golston outlines the power thank you, which goes beyond a mere expression of thanks. This approach comprises three parts. Acknowledging what the person did, recognizing the effort it took them, and appreciating the impact it had on you. By appreciating not only the act but also the intent and impact, you demonstrate a deeper level of gratitude. This act not only fosters a positive relationship but also encourages a culture of kindness and gratitude, as the recipient feels seen, valued, and more likely to reciprocate the sentiment. The Power Apology Just as expressing genuine gratitude can build relationships, so can a sincere apology. In Just Listen, Golston introduces the concept of the power apology, a three-part approach to apologizing that emphasizes authenticity and accountability. First, you acknowledge what you did wrong, showing a clear understanding of your mistake. Second, you demonstrate understanding of the impact of your actions on the other person, validating their feelings. Finally, you explain how you'll prevent such incidents in the future, demonstrating responsibility and commitment to change. This sincere, comprehensive apology promotes healing, rebuilds trust, and opens doors for reconciliation and improved relations. Moving from panic to inspiration. When individuals are stuck in a panic state, communication can become challenging. This state is characterized by fear, stress, and confusion, inhibiting rational thought and openness to suggestions. Golston suggests that by understanding the stages of the brain's reaction to panic, you can help individuals shift from fear to a state of creativity and inspiration. This process requires empathy, patience, and supportive communication. Help them understand their emotions and fears, provide reassurance, and guide them towards positive actions and thoughts. This transition not only aids in resolving the current issue but also equips the person with the tools to handle future stressors. Leading people out of the past. Often, people can become trapped in the past, their thoughts consumed by regrets, past failures, or negative experiences. This focus on the past hinders their ability to embrace the present and plan for the future. As a listener and communicator, your role is to help them shift their perspective to the present and the possibilities it holds. Golston emphasizes the importance of encouraging them to learn from the past but not let it define their present or future. By fostering a present and future-focused dialogue, you can help them move towards healing, growth, and positive action. Stepping into their shoes. One of the key strategies in effective communication is the ability to see the world from the other person's perspective. Golston refers to this as stepping into their shoes. It involves setting aside your judgments and opinions to understand why they feel the way they do, why they hold certain beliefs, or why they've made specific choices. It's not about agreeing with their perspective, but about understanding it. This empathetic approach fosters a sense of trust and openness, making the other person more receptive to your insights or suggestions. Moreover, it provides valuable context that can guide your responses and interactions. Mastering Conversational Narcissism Golston warns against the tendency towards conversational narcissism, the inclination to shift the focus of the conversation back to ourselves. Whether it's sharing our experiences, presenting our ideas, or steering the conversation to topics we're interested in, this pattern can prevent us from genuinely hearing and understanding the other person. To avoid this, strive to stay focused on the speaker, their experiences, and what they're trying to communicate. By displaying genuine interest and empathy, you create a dialogue that values and respects the speaker's voice, fostering deeper connections and more meaningful conversations. Taking conversations from complaints to solutions. It's common for individuals to vent their frustrations or complaints as a way of processing emotions or seeking validation. While empathetic listening is important in these situations, 
Golston suggests guiding the conversation towards possible solutions. Ask what they would like to see happen, how they might achieve that, or what steps they could take to address the issue. This approach not only validates their feelings but also empowers them to take control of the situation. By shifting the conversation from complaints to solutions, you support their emotional needs while also promoting problem solving and personal growth. The magic paradox. Golston presents an unexpected technique for disarming conflict or resistance, known as the magic paradox. This technique involves expressing the opposite of what the other person anticipates, thus disrupting their expectations and opening up space for dialogue. For instance, if they expect you to argue or defend your viewpoint, try agreeing with them instead, or expressing understanding of their perspective. This unexpected reaction can diffuse tension, promote receptivity, and pave the way for more open, constructive conversation. This paradoxical approach fosters flexibility in dialogue and encourages mutual understanding and cooperation. Rewire yourself to listen. Transforming yourself into an effective listener isn't an overnight process. It involves self-awareness, practice, and dedication. Golston encourages readers to recognize their listening habits, biases, and barriers, and to work on improving these areas. This might involve making an effort to stay fully present during conversations, refraining from interrupting, or practicing empathy more consistently. Feedback from others can be invaluable during this process. The goal isn't to achieve perfection, but to continually strive to be a better listener, enhancing your relationships and your ability to connect with others on a deeper level. Be a PAL. Purposeful, actionable, learning. Golston suggests adopting the PAL approach in conversations. Purposeful, actionable, learning. A purposeful conversation has a clear aim or outcome, while an actionable conversation promotes steps towards achieving this aim. A learning conversation involves open-mindedness, curiosity, and a willingness to learn from the other person. By embracing the PAL approach, you not only make your conversations more focused and productive, but also foster an environment of mutual respect and learning. It enables you to extract more value from your conversations and to contribute more effectively to the other person's understanding or progress. Resolving conflict. Conflicts are an inevitable part of human interactions. However, the manner in which we handle conflict can determine the outcome and the impact on our relationships. Golston advocates for focusing on interests, not positions, when attempting to resolve conflict. Positions are what we want or demand, whereas interests are the needs or concerns that underlie these positions. By understanding and addressing these underlying interests, you can identify shared concerns or objectives, paving the way for solutions that satisfy both parties. This approach promotes mutual understanding, cooperation, and the creation of win-win solutions. Gaining influence. Gaining influence isn't about manipulation or power games. It's about building trust and respect through consistent, effective listening and understanding. Over time, as you demonstrate your understanding and empathy, people not only start to listen to you, but they also value your opinions and advice. Influence in this sense isn't a tool to get what you want, but a byproduct of respectful, meaningful relationships. By focusing on understanding and supporting others, you naturally become a person of influence, capable of making a positive impact in your interactions and relationships. The power of listening. Golston's Just Listen underscores that effective listening is the most powerful tool for building relationships and influencing others. By truly hearing and understanding others, you can help them resolve their issues, achieve their goals, and feel valued and understood. Transforming yourself into an effective listener requires effort, self-awareness, and practice, but the rewards, improved relationships, increased influence, personal growth, and the ability to help others, are well worth it. The summary of, just listen, 